I want to say something that's really, really important here. Okay. This is the big deal. This is the point. All people are equal, but not all ideas are equal. And I say that this is really important to understand because uh, we want to make sure that we treat people equally with equity, right? Uh, people are valuable uh, apart from their ideas because they're made in the image of God. That's what makes people equal. The person, uh, we're all equal because we're all made in the image of God, regardless of what we believe, but not every idea is equal. There is such a thing as a dumb idea. There is. I'm sorry. I remember uh, in, in grad school, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Clay Jones actually taught me that. <laughs> you know, um, there is a such thing as a stupid question. I'm sorry, there is. You know, um, Peter Kraft actually, he, he's out of Boston College. Uh, he, he says it this way. I think it's amazing. He says that we should be egalitarian regarding persons and be elitists regarding ideas. So we think of, of others as equals, but we realize that some ideas are better than others. And this is where we get ourselves in the trouble. And this is where uh, we start to think, or, or, or I used to as an atheist, start to think the Christian or anybody who held to uh, an objective standard was intolerant. You know, one of the, the reasons that relativism has become so popular is because um, kind of, of, of the, I think, of the fear and then the awkwardness of, of saying that we think uh, we're right. And in, when we say that we think we're right, usually it's in the context in the discussion with somebody and we're also saying that the other person is wrong. Now, for me, I've always enjoyed the argument. I have a, my background's legal. I like the fight. You know, I like the debate. Um, but a lot of people don't. And that's actually why I think relativism crept, one of the reasons relativism crept into the church because it's the conflict. Whoa, I don't want to be intolerant. We're afraid of that label. And then in this fear, it stifles a critical thought. And, and I think it hampers productive discussions about religion and, 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 and values and ethics and morals and, and, and worldviews. You know, and this fear is, is unjustified justified because because people are, are confused about what tolerance is and what it isn't.